Hi, good evening and welcome to the Select Board, Board of Health meeting for January 10th. Uh, it's 5 p.m. Uh, 2020, so into a new decade, which is exciting. So we're here at the Deerfield Municipal Offices on, um, in the main meeting room at 8 Conway Street, in South Deerfield, Mass. Um, this meeting is always recorded, so if you um, come to the mic, please uh, state your name clearly and, and um, speak into the microphone. And we're gonna um, we're gonna go through the agenda a little bit today. Um, we're gonna do our consent agenda. We do have a couple of executive session sessions to, to do uh, fairly quickly, so we can get those out of the way and get back to the general meeting. Um, so uh, there are I have not seen minutes for a while. Is that what's happening there? Do That's correct. Know? Yep, because they have not had a town administrator, so they have been. She has not been able to be. Able. Cindy oh, was, gotcha. Cindy yeah. was doing that. Correct, yeah. And so, Cindy's and we, still there, but she's been filling and doing other stuff. Is correct. that the idea? Yeah. Okay, I'd assume it. that is what the case is. Yes, we have not gotten any, and I just, I have not spoken to her, but I believe Pat did. But I can only presume it's because they've had an absence right. in the have administration. A, so, they have a yeah, and we haven't, you know, Pat had, I think Pat started to take up one set, but it's like then, you know, she just gets hammered all right. day, so we'll have to. Okay, so we'll yeah. get you've got, you've back got back. money in your budget. You can, you know, continue to. I would like you to continue hire somebody to hire else or somebody. do something or, yeah. I mean, they seem to do a very good, I mean, that was a very good system. It was an excellent, Worked um, well. excellent arrangement and it could resume. I just, I assume it may again, I just don't know. When. All right, so we'll follow up on that. Um, and then I think we'll just come back to the announcements because I want to talk a, a little bit about a meeting we had this morning at the sewer. Um, I know people are anxious to hear what's going on there so we can update a, a bit of what we know there. Um, Actually, Trevor, I'm, I'm just worried that we'll, it will be, um, you know, the, the, why don't you just do that quick? Okay. And, and um, I didn't have a chance to give this to Dave. Okay. So, because oh. I just got here. Right. Sounds good. I mean, I didn't, I had two meetings this afternoon and I mm -hmm. just finished, so. All righty. Um, mm. I can do that then. That's fine. Yeah, I think that, and I think we'll you should on, talk so. about the sewer treatment because who knows what's going to happen on the, um, you know, executive session on what we're going to do after. Okay, sounds good. Um, and then we can do public comment and get yeah. out of here. Do you have any other, um, other than the sewer, do you have anything to add other than? No, it's just that I'm, I'm very excited about the sewer. Yeah. You can do a summary for okay, us. Okay, so but I'll do that. Yeah, um, it seems to be right, moving along very positively. So, um, so okay, so then just a recap is that um, we had a meeting this morning um, at 8.30 at the wastewater treatment facility to um, get an update on where we're at with a couple different projects there and kick off the larger project. Um, we had two members of the um, finance committee and um, DPW, Kevin was there and Keith was there with representatives of um, Dave Prickett Engineering there to kind of start um, updating what's happening with the secondary clarifier, um, our only clarifier, the circular one that's broken, and then to get into the larger uh, project that we're phase one of the upgrades at the plant. So um, I can report that we are just about open with the rectangular clarifiers. So we, if just to back up for people that don't remember when we went out to bid originally, we were hoping that um, company coming in to replace the clarifier would also do a temporary kind of a heart bypass. So we could do the, um, we would have some sort of clarifying uh, while they're replacing the only clarifier we had. And that became um, really costly. People didn't want to take on that responsibility. So the bid we got back was really large um, outside what we budgeted for. So we kind of regrouped and uh, Keith, our operator, decided to take that in-house and we revamped um, the original rectangle rectangular clarifiers that uh, came with the building in the 70s. Um, we had to put some money into those to get those operational. There, I think there's a couple small items that need to be done, but they'll, they'll be done in the spring when we turn it on. So the plan is to, um, uh, is to get you know, everything in, in motion. We have the bid out, we have the, for the labor, and we have the, for the contractor, and then we also have a bid out for uh, which we've awarded both um, a bid for the clarifier mechanism that goes in there. And then um, we plan to turn that on around June 1st, June 1st or so, maybe a little earlier just to make sure it's flowing well. Um, and then 
So once that system's on, we can plug the other circular clarifier and start taking it down and, and rebuilding it. And that will probably run for three or four months on this temporary clarifier. So we're, I would just implore everybody, uh, we ask you every time, no flushables, no grease, um, but you really need to take um, care uh, in those months especially to, to not put anything down there. We're gonna have such limited uh, settling time. Um, it's gonna be really on a shoestring to get through that and meet permit and get all of that done. Um, we just can't have big inflows of, um, of grease and rags and all that stuff. It's just gonna be horrifying to try and get through that with that. So we need a few months there through the summer to get, uh, to get through until we can get our clarifier back up again. Um, the good news is that this is clearly, I would say, between two and three hundred thousand dollars worth of savings. Yeah, he's done a very good job of yeah. getting that back up and running. So uh, from our hoping, estimate, yeah. So, so we're hoping we can save some good money there and do that. Um, we've got you know decent bids for the construction work and and the clarifier. So we're moving ahead on that project. That seems to be rolling ahead fine. So that'll again kick off in the spring. So uh, the other project, we um, had our first kind of kickoff meeting of talking about uh, roles and responsibilities and then communication and then scope of work. So uh, we've got kind of a calendar out and I'll get this, uh, I've got some data here that I'll put up on the web page um, as soon as I get it in a PDF format. Um, we have our calendar of you know, what we're doing for the project, which will be right now as basis of design and some geotechnical um, surveying of you know boreholes and stuff where the new buildings and new clarifier are going to be um, so that stuff will happen over the next couple months um, into into um, the geotech stuff will be in january february and march um, and into march we'll be doing and from now into march we'll be doing the basis of design and kind of narrowing down exactly what we want to tackle in this phase we have a good outline but just kind of nail down those items and get into 25% design, 50%, 75, and then go into permitting, 90 and 100% design. That'll probably get done in about a year. So we hope to go out to bid in about a year from now, uh, January of 21. Um, and then, you know, just start start the procurement process and, and general bids and stuff, and then construction, you know, pretty much through um, October and November of 22. Um, and, and kind of finish up the punch list and hopefully be done by March of 2023. So that's kind of the timeline on the project and um, we've got good people looking at that. And you know, that'll probably adjust here and there depending on what we find and what we do um, throughout that project. But that, that worked out, uh, that's gonna work out very, very well. So uh, we also, in conjunction with that stuff is the financials. So, um, you know, we have asked for and got approved at town meeting for a, and a, and a ballot for a $19 million project. We're only tackling phase one at this point, which is about 11, four, um, 11 million, 400,000. And, you know, of that we have, we'll go, get a loan from USDA for about just over 11, uh, 8 million, 500,000. Um, there's a grant, uh, for about 2.6, uh, million dollars and then our initial contribution which is 250,000 and the way that all money works is that we need to first spend our 250,000 first you know and that can be anywhere through design and all the other stuff we're starting um, once that $250,000 is spent um, then a, a loan kicks in um, and we'll go and get um, probably a ban bonds, but we'll be borrowing for that uh, money. Um, and we borrow and use that loan money and up until the 8.5 is spent and then the grant money kicks in. Grants always last, you know, they always hang on to their money <laughs> till the end. So, um, you know, we'll probably eat through most of that too, but that's kind of the last portion of money that gets spent is the, is the grant money. So um, I, I'm setting up a meeting with, um, Barb and Brenda and USDA and James from um, DPC Engineering to kind of nail down, you know, we have a calendar here too, which we'll, I'll put up online too, but we'll talk about, you know, what we'll meet, need for money, you know, kind of monthly 
as it goes out during the whole project so that Barb will know when to borrow and how much to borrow and all that stuff. So, um, so we can keep current with our bills and be getting paid back. And there's monthly reporting to USDA and all that stuff. So USDA goes through everything we do and they're, they're involved with this as a partner all the way through. So um, with finance committee and us and um, our financial teams involved, I think we'll be in, be in pretty good shape. So that's a, just a quick rundown of what we're, what we're doing on the sewer stuff. So anybody have any questions on that at all or not at the moment, but feel free to send them if you do and we'll figure that out. Um, so if there are any other items before we do do the consent agenda? No. no. Okay, so um, we have uh, just one consent agenda and it's to approve two um, one day liquor licenses, both for Yankee Candle Village. One is for Valentine's Day on February 8th and also for National Wine Day on February 18th, so. I make a motion to approve both. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Sounds good. Um, do, you, uh, do we, is, is there any public comment? We could hit that first before, we're gonna have to go into an executive session for a couple minutes and then we'll come back out to general session, but is there any public comment anybody wanna hit on before we come back? Come yes. on up, uh, Dick, sure, seconds? of course, come on Thank up. You. How are you? Mr. Chairman, I'm very well. Thank you. Good Extremely to see you. Well. Good to see uh, you. My name is Richard Evans. I'm counsel for uh, Sons Mass Inc. and Go Grizz, the operator and owner, respectively, of the uh, premises at 198 Mill Village Road. Uh, as you recall, um, after we went through the special permit process last year, uh, my client uh, requested to uh, uh, me to look into the possibility of rezoning so they could do product preparation at that site. And after a lot of study, uh, and knowing that the planning board would likely be reforming uh, the uh, zoning laws to, to consolidate the separate medical and non-medical uh, sections of the zoning law and making a few other tweaks, and hearing that they were always short of staff, I, in, a, in an act of generosity, I, I undertook to as you know, to redraft the, the bylaws, leaving everything pretty much the way it is, but with just a few small tweaks that were identified in the summary. And you were very kind, the select board was very kind to submit, I submitted it, the changes to you, and then we tweaked it, and then you submitted it to the planning board. And I had to nag the planning board a bit, but I'm very happy to report that uh, last Monday evening, uh, the planning board did uh, mark the, uh, the, the uh, request for a public hearing in the okay. first meeting in May. They were very courteous. So I'm pleased that that's on board. There will be a public hearing at the planning board meeting first uh, Monday night in May. In, in May, May or March? I mean, I'm sorry, in February. In uh, February. February. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, I was going <laughs> to say, <laughs> that will not make so, town yeah, meeting. Public hearing first Monday night in February. Okay. Then they make a recommendation, whether they approve or don't approve, and then it goes to a town meeting and the voters decide. Now, as you know, the planning board has hired somebody to help them, and they are, in a parallel way, developing their own uh, consolidated zoning laws. And uh, they're not ready for a public hearing on that. That might happen in March or April. And it's possible that when we get to annual town meeting in late April, I believe, right? Right, April then, 27th. Uh, the voters could have an option of, of two plans, or maybe between now and then we could, we could consolidate them and come to some mutual terms, and, mm -hmm. but, but I don't um, see. When, uh, do we have an idea when the warrant would be closing? I can't remember how many it's weeks we... It's what, 28 days before? Yeah, it's be usually... That, I, I'm pretty sure it will close in March. So uh, to, to, keep, to keep confusion down to a minimum, it would be really nice if we could um, have some consolidation or, or a, an agreed-upon warrant article for... I mean, I don't care if so it's sensing, two different. You're sensing you're, they may have a separate. <coughs> the planning board is developing their own I had version, I understand. Heard, I think I'd heard something of that, that they were looking to change, and, and yeah. this could be all wrong, so uh, that they were looking to change something about the residential. Does anybody know I don't what know the, if there's came others, out of those there discussions? There may be other things. That yeah, they have quite a few changes, actually, yeah. that they're looking at. Yeah. Well, I want to take I a think hard look be, at those. I was just sure. going to say, I, I, I would hope that we could have some kind of discussion or meeting so that we have some agreement 
to a warrant, one warrant article rather than competing warrant mm -hmm. articles for that um, people. That confuses people, right? Yes. And it's not I, I, to our advantage I, I from the town view. point of view. So, um, so we'll try to gather some info. We'll, on what, what yeah, planning, we'll work, what work try on. to work through all of this together. Yeah, but but okay. things are moving. I wanted to let you know that, and and I'm very pleased that they marked it for public hearing. And and, uh, and if we can come to a common mind, mm -hmm. that, that it's would always be easier. Yeah. yeah. No, I I, I okay. feel yeah. like we should make some effort in some meetings yeah. to come to some. So thank you all. Mutually thank you very much. For me okay. Come. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Good to see you. Uh, any other further public comment before we come back out? Judy, are you, did you have anything? Any comment before we come back out? I was just here. I heard that Alex had submitted uh, an application to be appointed to the CBA. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to come and express my support for the oh. application. Oh, nice. I know of. Sounds good. Sounds we'll, good. Uh, we'll, um, so I guess I will make a motion to go into an executive session, and then we would... Um, come back out to general. Okay. So um, pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 21A, Paragraph 6, to consider the purchase, exchange, lease, and value of real property if the chair declares and then an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the negotiation position of the public body, recreation, and general municipal purposes. So I have a second on that. Um, okay. I'll second that. Yeah. Any further discussion? No. No. All those in favor? Dan aye. Wolfram, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. I also wanted to add, um, since we, I want to talk about the contract negotiation, there was. Uh, so also pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 21B, Paragraph 2, to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiation with non-union personnel or conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non-union personnel, town administrator. So I also would like to do that. So second on that? Second on that. Any further Aye, discussion? Ness. No. Hi, Trevor McDaniel. Hi, Carolyn Ness. Hi, Dave Wilson. Okay. And then we'll be back out shortly to uh, public sessions. So thank you very much. Hi, welcome back to the Deerfield uh, Select Board meeting of January 10th. And we're re reconvening out of executive session at 6.10. Uh, and we have a couple of uh, items to go over under new business. Um, <coughs> just run down this list here. We've got a ZBA appointment, special town meeting to review, request for administrative support at Public Works. Um, review grade and step wage increase for key personnel. Um, so why don't we, you want to just go straight down the list? We've got requests for appointment to the ZBA. So we need to discuss um, who we'd want on the ZBA and who moves up from. So currently you have two alternates. Um, you have Adam Sokolowski and Robert Decker as your alternates. Mm -hmm. um, and then Alex um, Hershen Red. Uh, Hershen Rader um, has applied for an op a, a, there is an open seat for an alternate or full time yep. right so um, and he's given you a letter of uh, interest okay so. let me just read that a sec well that's great um, do you have any thoughts um, well, I, I think we should move up Adam. Um, I think, Dave, you had spoken to him, right? Yeah. Adam Sokolowski. Asked if he was interested. To okay. move up and then I, have, I leave an alternate spot. I haven't spot. talked to him, but um, I know he was interested. So we should bump him up. And um, I think it's wonderful that Alex wants to do I it. I do, too. And we actually usually have our, our alternate set anyway. There's usually somebody missing. So Yeah. Um, well, that'd be great. I would like absolutely... 
I love to appoint Alex for the as an alternate to make sure that we have full mm -hmm. attendance. Yeah. And Alex, what that means is that you, if you come to a hearing that somebody's missed, then you are the voting member for that entire time of that issue. So. So if you're at every meeting. Yeah, it's you important to come every meeting. Actually, my first thing that I did in town in 1980 was alternate to the ZBA. That's how I started out. No kidding. Yeah. So um, there you go. <laughs> One day you'll be. No. <laughs> it's a long road. <laughs> <laughs> long road. It won't take that long. Um, um, anyway, so. So I'd entertain a motion first to appoint. Um, Adam Sokolowski. I would make the motion to appoint Adam, um, who has re religiously been very good about um, attending the meetings. Um, mm -hmm. uh, to a great this, member. To bump him up to a permanent position. Okay. And um, uh, Alex for the alternate, his alternate position. I'll second that. Any further discussion? I know we had one in favor coming here to support Alex, so that's really great. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for doing that. And I'm really excited to have you join the ZBA. Yeah, I really appreciate you volunteering. So um, no other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 So be it. Great. Thank you. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'm, I would like to, the, all the SCEMS draft warrant articles are fine um, with me. Yeah, or just, they look OK. I mean, I haven't really had a chance to. Um, check everything but it looks fine but I I'm so, just want to put this on maybe table this a little bit because I'm not sure um, I have a, I had two MVP meetings this afternoon but um, I I'm not sure if I want to how much I want to remove out of stabilization I guess right um, uh, does this say out of stabilization or no? Well, oh, yeah, so, transfer from, yeah, yeah I wanna, so that's just the motion we're going to change, right? Yes, so yes. I just, if I could just take a second to, sure, to preface this. I'm so go so what I did, um, so the articles, as, as Carolyn mentioned, there's article one and two that have to do with the SCEMS payments, um, the commitments we've made to put that, the rental receipts into a, a rental payments revolving fund. So that would be setting up the account and then putting in um, the FY19 rental payments in. Um, currently, we're collecting FY20, and those would just go in, you know, this year. Um, well, this the, will become a standard annual town meeting article. Once, yes, once what's, it's what's, well, what's, once it's set up as a revolving fund, yes. the receipts will just go into that account. Oh, and we don't have be, to have it. I thought we had to have an annual meeting. No, nope, then it can be spent the way we're we're setting it up under section um, under chapter forty, section three. Once you set it up with the provision that I've put in here to be carried over from next to next fiscal year. Once you put that in there and you put that provision in, the rental receipts just go right into that account and they can be spent without appropriation for that purpose, for the upkeep of the okay. facility only um, for that facility. Do we, and we had lawyers look at this? I sent it to Lisa, yes. Okay. Do we have um, any mechanism at all for moving money out of that um, out of that uh, line item or that account if it's not for this. So it, would it, could you use a town meeting vote to spend that money on anything but the upkeep of that building? Because I'm a fr so one thing I, I guess the reason we decided, you know, we had our intention, Kip's intention, our intention and what we kind of talked to the member towns about when we set this up was that the money would go into a pot a lot like uh, South Deerfield Fire District does, and they take money and put it aside, and if they need a roof in 20 years, if they need new asphalt, if they want to put an addition on, or whatever maintenance, new air conditioner, new, whatever it needs that that building's going to have, there'll be money set aside to do that work. Um, I could see in just 20 years from now, if that account is much larger than we expect or have a needs for it, is there a mechanism to move that money outside of that account. Yes, yeah, so you can take it to a town meeting vote. Town meeting yes. vote could allow us to spend yes. so you can it always, other ways. Right, if the, okay. if the purpose of sure? the account were to dissolve, it would automatically close out to the general fund. But okay. if it becomes, if there were to be excess revenues in that account that you wanted to use. For some other use. I believe yeah. that you would go to a town so meeting So when vote. you say upkeep, the other question I had is, um, 
would that include the addition, building an addition? Mm -hmm. Because the reason why we, we kept the same rental rate was potentially we were looking at an expansion and we wanted money to build the expansion. Mm -hmm. The law says, if you look at Chapter 40, Section 3, it's, it specifically says upkeep, but it says in the DOR recommendation, so you asked if council had looked at it. Yes. In addition to council, we also had DOR look at that language to make sure we were mm -hmm. using the proper accounts. Um, that, that DOR recommendation says it can be used for utilities, custodial, uh, building repairs, and maintenance. So it doesn't say, yeah. um, it addition. doesn't say like addition or building, uh, new, you know, any kind, of, it just says repairs and maintenance. You can basically, you know, go and look at that. That's See, the then language, I'm not sure so. if, I mean, I think we do want to include expansion because that was the, if you remember the conversations, the just conversation, put, put the, other the reason, reason we kept a, the same rental rate mm -hmm. instead of reducing the rental rate, because we pay 50%. Right. Exactly. So the reason why we're, we did not reduce the rate was because we wanted to build up money. Uh, you know, long term, yes, roof and all that repaving and all that. But there was a, there is a potential for us to expand Have another bay. Another bay, and so this would not be the language we would want. So you could. So another possibility, Carolyn and, and Brenda and I talked about this because we weren't exactly sure when when you guys had your meetings, when SCEM stakeholders, mm -hmm. what what purpose you were trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. We also you could set up a stabilization fund and you could take part of the proceeds and you yeah, could move them off like into a different place. But a stabilization fund, if you set it up, needs a two-thirds vote to get the money out by the town of Deerfield. So that's a different thing than having money set aside that they give you that just can be spent on the building right. pretty readily. I almost feel like it needs to be right. a percentage then. I, I want to table this. Bit? I want to table this. Yeah, for we're not going to vote weeks. on anything tonight, yeah, anyway. Because we, just, can, just we have a scams. We have a scams meeting on Thursday, next Thursday. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to bring this up because I, I know the intention was yeah. to be able to build that. Other so we just got to figure yeah. out the right vehicle through DOR. Exactly. And, yeah. yeah. So you have those two options, and we can do either one. We just we, we want to make both, it as right? or both. Exactly. We want to just make it as 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 accessible as you want the money to be. We want it to be readily accessible for the maintenance. But if you but want to put someone away for capital, we could also do that in, you know, through this mechanism. And setting it's up also a, helpful uh, to have a, a two-thirds vote when you're going to go and do something, too. I mean, I know it's SCEM's board, but it's also town money as well. So it might be smart I to, know, but you know, it's just more complicated than... Yep. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, but those are the only. We're not going to expand as a service unless everyone agrees anyway. Right. right. So then, if you have to have two thirds vote by all three towns. No, I think it's just us, right? Because it's, it's just your money. Yeah. No, you are going to be Deerfield. taking that money, the it's rental our fiscal, revenue, it's our fiscal. and then it's your money. Yeah. Okay. You I just it makes it complicated. So mm -hmm. I think I'd like some further discussion on it. Yeah. Just so just in terms of the timing of this article, we don't, it's not a, um, uh, you know, it's not a pressing article, but we do have now, we've collected a whole year that we, right. oh, that we put we in our free cash in. and they would like to have their money set aside. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just trying to get this, you know, going, but mm -hmm. it could go on your annual if you don't want to put it on this special. No, how, the how timeliness of this to... special, so let me explain that. So. In terms, the, the real reason I've put this back in front of you is because we all, and, and Carolyn can talk to this better than I can, she's been at meetings today about MVP, but we know the MVP grants are, are coming, you know, mm -hmm. any day, and so we know that if we are awarded a grant, you know, you're going to be looking for this $196,000. So I guess I'm just putting it out there again to you guys to say that I've been uh, hearing through the MVP grapevine that the contracts will be due the end of January. Mm -hmm. um, so that means that you'd have to have that money available should you desire to sign a contract. That's why you and put, put the, the 29th of January for a date. So backing up, That's how, how quickly it. do we need to approve this? If you want to have it warrant. for 29th, we have to post it by next Wednesday. So we need to have, we'd have to do you it before time. Wednesday's meeting. You could either, yeah. So I was hoping you'd kind of decide tonight, but it is it is coming pretty close. Mm -hmm. um, 
but again, that's it's all it's entirely up to it. Just I, you won't have the, the 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 nimble flexibility you need to sign the contract, you know, without an appropriation. You you just right. you don't have mm -hmm. you don't have the money right to put aside. All right. Well, we'll keep the. Um, and what if we move out the uh, special a week? That's nope. what she's saying. We wouldn't have the ability to sign the contract for the. If, the, if we're You'd awarded be the signing grant. the contract without having a town meeting vote, oh. and and, and I'm just concerned vote. if you then go to a town meeting vote and fail to get the vote, especially I mean, and I did put stabilization. That was just a an indication that the money is really for stabilization. The money you're getting is really for the town stabilization. It's to stabilize its climate resiliency. It's to stabilize your culverts. It's yeah. um, so I think you know stabilization. No one's going to vote. Good, no one's going to vote. Um, the Kelleher Drive culvert money down. Right. So, so I thought you know I'm stabilization. You that. would need a two-thirds vote, but I feel it's a more appropriate funding source than free cash because it is stabilization. If you yeah. if you're ever going to say, I just want to yeah. look at <laughs> where happen. that's got to come from. Yes, and, I, I know what you're you saying. You know, we have so I, much I feel, need. I, I, I in know. This town, and I, I just uh, keep, you know, I had this conversation before, and I while I agree with you, we need to keep up with our culverts and all that stuff. I have a lot of other needs I want to do and we keep, you know, we keep throwing well, we money at no this choice. grant program. Well, yeah. I mean, we, we do, have we have we have to do the Kelleher Drive. I understand culvert. that. That's I'm not going to last another season. I, I, I'm I'm with you on that. Hoping we can get through the next couple months. The rest yeah. of the stuff. But the um, thing about it, Trevor, is you and Carolyn has been saying this. I mean, you are not you are leveraging such a substantial I amount of money out of that it. fraction of stabilization. You're getting 75% more it. money to I do stabilization. I completely understand <laughs> so that. But at some point, good. you can, you can stabilize yourself broke. And I'm just saying. really concerned because I have a lot of other projects that we want to do in town that are not, you know, resiliency related. They are, but they're, you know, we have a senior center we need to get going on. We have town common work to do. We have a lot of other things that are not always resiliency. So I, I'm very concerned we're constantly doing this. And I agree with you completely that it's like great money. It makes sense. Um, but it, when are the other tasks going to come up to be number one instead of constantly doing the culverts, which I know they need to be done. And we're like, it's. So that's my frustration on uh, always using the money for that kind of stuff instead of moving the priorities of the town forward on the other things that really people are asking for, like sidewalks and all this other stuff. But there's not grant money to go, hey, here's, here's you know, 75% money to roll out your new sidewalks. That's what's frustrating about state government and grants and all that stuff is that the money we need is not always the money we get, you know? We get money that we... The there is a is, level of need, but right. it's like Well, they incentivize the things that are meaningful to, to them. To them, not but to us. But that's the thing. You need, to be, you need to be nimble to take advantage of the things they're incentivizing when they incentivize them. Yeah, we've been extremely <laughs> nimble. Doing. Like, we keep getting it, which I'm very grateful for, and I hope this round we get too. But it's at some point I still want to push forward the projects that are needed in town, mm -hmm. that are like seniors, senior mm -hmm. housing, senior stuff. But all of our, you know, our, our money that we're putting away to stabilization is constantly going to one section of the town mm -hmm. or one section of priorities and not all the other priorities. Although if Kelleher Drive fails, oh, I, I mean, completely agree. Like, I mean, how's everyone going to get out of their thing? And I it's know. a massive culvert and it's a massive expense. So I, I understand that. It's just I want to make sure that we're, we're saving some money to put into the stuff that people are really asking for. Has the Finance Committee met on any of this yet, Skip? Mm -hmm. Right. Oh. Well, except Skip, you saw it. <laughs> but right, right. No. Okay. Just today, just today. Okay. We, we have no recommendation. I mean, well, I, I don't. We will take it up on Monday, even though you know it's not posted, but it's it's come up right since the since the meeting was posted. So yeah. I'm not sure both of these articles. And yeah, but I'm not sure when it's official. Our, when, yeah, if you decide it's not, then they won't take it up. No, we'll take it up. Um, <laughs> no, I meant, I'm, I'm not sure when the grants are officially going to be announced. The, uh, the, the problem is that if you've got a... But I know we have to sign, Diana is correct, we have to sign by uh, January 30th. 
So we have the month to figure out what we're doing. So we let me have two just weeks throw, to throw something out. out. Yeah. Let's say, uh, let's see, what's next Wednesday is the 15th? Yes. So if I, we were I, going to have a town meeting on the 29th, two weeks, uh, and the finance committee meets Monday and doesn't take any of this stuff up, and then you don't do anything this coming Wednesday, but on the 22nd, you take something up. It makes it almost impossible for the finance committee right. to review it in yeah. time. That's, I agree 100%. I know. And, and the argument that I tried to make on town meeting I think it was last April when we changed the, the, the time between the posting and the, you know, brought it down to a week. And it's like, that's ridiculous. It's that's, not this, enough time to talk. This is an example of. And it's well, a it lot of it has. Two weeks. It has yeah, to be two we know that. Weeks. Yeah, it's got to be two weeks on the specials. But the, the issue is, uh, we is have the no way control the state of, rolls it out. It's so it's whenever, inconvenient. Whenever the governor has some extra money, because it's not regularly funded, there's no regular revenue stream for this yet. That was what S10 was that I testified mm -hmm. for, was to set up a rev regular stream, revenue stream, and then that would, in fact, probably set up regular grant opportunities and a schedule. There is no schedule right now. Every time he has money, he puts it to the program and Which, it's new opportunities. And we applied for Kelleher Drive and, you know, we're not supposed to, I mean, there's no official announcement yet, but it looks like we're going to, we're going to have to sign the contract within a week or two. And if they grant it to if us. If they grant it to us. And so, so in that case, I think we should take it up and then, uh, yeah. we have to, we have to accommodate that's exactly what, this is one of the reasons we get funded every single time so, is because yes. we are willing to jump through the hoops and, prepare. and, and I'm willing to let you yell at me and, <laughs> and you can yell at me, but well, guess we, what? <laughs> We're marching into town with $600,000. I'm sorry. It makes a huge difference. It does. I know. I, I I, mean, but, but we're also throwing 200 of our money at it. So just, just so that, just so that you eventually. get it right, I'm not yelling at you. He is. Yes, I am. <laughs> and I will continue. Where's my I hammer? Know. No, but it's, I, it's I, not. I, I, it's I, not that I'm not the happy about it. On the board and then try to get every, all the ducks in a row. And, and then if we don't know. get our ducks in a row, we can just bypass. Well, we, we can take a look at it and, and we can voice our opinion. Yeah. And if you don't, I'm just not sure how, how I feel comfortable about taking all the money out of stabilization. Right. That's all. Maybe you guys could discuss I mean, we that have, as well. Yeah. We have set aside, uh, capital has set aside, you know, money. We're trying to build up the capital account. We have the full stabilization account. I mean, we, we have, have money laying around, free cash. but we, and we don't have a lot of free cash. So I don't want to use too much free cash, which is normally what we have been doing. It's just that the Kelleher Drive culvert is quite large. So, you know, we have to have a bigger match, but. So yes, yeah. if you take it up and then look at. I just want you to think about up, the combination you want. Right. No, the other one, you're not going to. The scams one? Yeah. 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 And that then, way, if, if uh, down the road, if you do. You've talked about it. We, we, yeah. Right. You've got our opinion on it. And think maybe on that. That's what. Where, where we would maybe pull capital stabilization, some free cash, how we might want to do it <coughs> if, if it does end up going forward. So the, uh, the alternative, one of the alternatives that you have is you can use borrowing if you needed to. True. Yep. Um, would it make sense because of the time frame and the posting and stuff to move the meeting to the 30th? Well, I had checked with the moderator and Monday and Wednesday if that would work as you know, his preferred day. So okay. I'm to be on Wednesdays. Okay. So Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. It's Wednesday to allow us a little time for the posting. Right. We need a couple of days. So, yep. so I guess what I would ask then, um, so I put the motions on this mostly but just they won't for be you. Out there. Right, exactly. Yeah. Just for you to see what I, what was being proposed. Yep. The articles are what will appear. Um, and so I guess then you're saying you would just like to move ahead with Article 3 as the only article to appear well, and, and have it. I mean, we or could. What are you suggesting? I'm just trying to think. I think it's. Um, I think it's good to have Article 1 on there, but we could adjust how we deal with that, right? I mean, we just need to get an answer on 
Um, we want to have that flexibility for an I, addition I, when I, we do it. That's really the key. And the rest of it is we wanted to have it set aside so that one. We kept, we kept the rental rates at 36 That was our intention. And that's what everybody understood. Was to have the flexibility of expansion. If you needed it down the road, you'd right. have that. You could build that up and use it for that. So we want to just talk with DOR, I guess, again, to just make sure and counsel, can we... Can we also do it for an addition, or do we need two accounts set up? And do you want to split it in half or one-third, you know, two-thirds? And if they're not going to allow us to do that, then I think that we should revisit the rental rates because, mm -hmm. you know, that... I think they'll allow... I mean, I think it makes sense that... I mean, we could do it, We could keep it stable for the uh, first few years just to build up a little bit of money, but it should be revisited because if, if we're not allowed to use it for an expansion, then... Right then that's way too much money for Of maybe. course. And I could also ask when we talk to David Guzman, um, so we want to know if we can use it for building expansion. Just putting, yeah, just like repair repairs, and, maybe, and addition of one bay is really our future. And then also we would ask, should ask if we can just move the money out in the future too. Correct. Because that's another thing. If there's just right. a surplus, then maybe you just it, can move it yeah. out and use it for the expansion. Exactly. Okay. Well, we, at, at some point, there might be a situation where we want to buy an ambulance with it. You know, yeah, basically, how can we, we move the money out yeah, if we, we have, become... We have, yes, but right. if something happens... if you had happened, excess money in the rental receipt... What, you know, if, some, if a, one yeah. of the trucks went, we or, just want to know you all know, on top of our regular yeah. replacement... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, if we, what we did is we just bumped ahead we our rotation. Yeah. But if we had been so far out, and we had this fund built up, yeah. and, and, you know, we wanted to get rid of that international, and we still had two or three years left to go in our buildup, then... It made, would make sense to, to take 50 from, from yeah. that fund yeah. okay. towards the ambulance. Yeah. I mean, I want it to be clear, we're not talking about using it for Deerfield's benefit. We're using it for the ambulance service. But Period. I could see us using it towards a vehicle if there was a problem with the vehicle or, I mean, who knows what we're talking mm -hmm. about. Some so adjustment in the future. So we just need some clarity what they'll allow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Okay, All so right. I think just. We talked about this on Monday, mm -hmm. uh, that someone, it would be nice to have someone come to the Finance Committee and, and ex From explain what the board is, is thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm planning on being there. I have a MAPCO meeting at 4.30 and it's a tabletop meeting uh, about, I mean, our tabletop exercise. So, mm -hmm. um, so I, but I will come down from Greenfield as soon as I can. I, I believe your meeting isn't scheduled till seven, right? Six. Six. Oh, it's six. Well, because at least initially there was a we got messed up with personnel. Initially, personnel was not meeting, or they were, and then they was it was changed to the twenty seventh. Or, or I had mistaken. Oh, okay. But we had it set for the twenty seventh. Now there's a personnel committee meeting at, at five. Um, and then and you're the going finance in. committee meeting is at six. Okay, I I will come down from uh, as soon as I can from the planning meeting. Uh, the reason I'm it's I'm uh, no, it's a um, yes, it's yeah. a tabletop EDS. Yeah. So um, I'm the one that's driving the tabletop, so I need to be there. Um, but as soon as I can get, we also need I, somebody to deal with the personnel board too. <sighs> Well, maybe okay. we should get through those our items before we decide who that's going to be. Right? All right. <laughs> I already promised that I'm on other duties Monday, so I cannot go back now. I'm not going to be able to go but home. Sounds like I, Carolyn's going to gonna be. I need to get moving here because... <laughs> Because it's Friday night. night. Son is leaving yes. for back All right. to go back so to Germany. So let's just leave one on there for now. Uh, two is okay. is what to see. Uh, yeah. So transfer. let's just hold. So do you want to hold off on two and just you can also move that money in at annual. I mean you don't have to. Yeah, we don't now. have to move it now. So let's just hold hold. But you can set up the receipt. The, right. The, exactly. The fund. So let's okay. cross out two for now, right. and the motion on two. All right. Um, Skems might not be happy about that, but we'll let Zach know. It seems like we've been down this road before. Oh. Uh, there was a, we had set up, the town had set up a building maintenance or building whatever they called it. I know, uh, and we raided it. <coughs> which ended up being used as a slush fund. We, what? we took the money out. I know. Who got slushies? 
Where was this? So it's why we, it's, we, we ended up funding town meeting with it for. We ended up putting a quarter of a million dollars in there, and, and over time, we ended up having to take it out to fund town meeting. So I get a little bit concerned about doing this over again. Yeah, no, this is specific. Uh, and, uh, of course, no one's ever. Yeah, well, I'm not always going to be there, so I can't really say you got to set it up for in the future. But that's definitely our intention. Somehow we got to word that. Yeah. Well, the way it's that it's set up in, the, in accordance with mass general law, you can't, you can't do, do anything. Anything else with it? No. Right. No. Like I said, if you were, if there is a provision that you can take any excess out, it would have to be done by town meeting. I'm sure of it. If it's even allowed, which I will. So we'll find verify. out on that stuff. Okay. I, well, before we make any decisions, let's just clarify what we can and cannot do. Mm -hmm. I, otherwise, so just leave this the way it is until Wednesday. We can wait till Wednesday, right? Well, it has to be posted Wednesday. So, I mean, I can, oh. yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we really need, I need some definitive answers on what you want to put, what articles you want to put on to post. Number one. Before Wednesday. Number one. And number three. Okay. And number three. All right. Or you can delete it. That's true. And you could always table it or and pass it yeah. too. Table All right. it. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Right. We can <coughs> figure out. Yeah, and we can always rephrase, rephrase the motion too. If the mm -hmm. if, you know, I'll, I'll leave it flexible enough. So if we need to rephrase the motion. Okay. All right. Okay. That one's done. Right. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Sure. Um, Re review request for administrative support for public works. Do yeah, we so want to talk I, about I that? I had put that on. Actually, you had asked me about the other ones, uh, but I had put that on just because since we're going to go to pers back to personnel Monday, I thought let's put that in there too. Um, Kevin and Skip had come <clears throat> to talk about um, the fact we'd put additional funding in our budget and our administrative mm -hmm. budget that we haven't been using. We haven't added any staff. And yep. we part of what we do in our office is support for public works. Um, Pat does some right. of the Chapter 90 billing and some of the invoices, exactly. uh, accounts payable and payroll and things like that. So. The idea is that um, we are enabled to, in order to get capacity back in this office, we're taking some of those responsibilities away from, from the administrative assistant and putting them back, hopefully, where we mm -hmm. think they make most sense. Some of them are going back to inspections mm -hmm. and ZBAs going that way. And we'd like to move public works to public works and give Kevin, you know, not only the ability to have some kind of account, you know, account accounting person supporting mm -hmm. him, but also a, a administrative support of, a, of the capacity he needs. Right? The accounting nope. position, yes. Administrative yeah. support, that needs to come later. Okay. Well, whatever. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure. I mean, we have a job description, basically, that says they'll do, you know, that kind of stuff and, and some administrative support. I think Kevin is, um, it's, he want, you know, wanted it to be up to 19 hours a week. We're not looking for full time. And, but, I, but before that happened, I felt it should come to you because it is in mm -hmm. your budget and you, you'd be basically moving you know, money, I would presume, into public works budget and talking about staffing. So um, I'm supportive of it. I think, you know, certainly Pat and Kevin have talked about it and we're supportive. I'm not sure, I think what Skip's alluding to is I'm not sure we all have built consensus on the yeah. extent of what the administrative yeah, support should be. Either. Yeah, and, and also <laughs> moving money from out of our <laughs> office. I mean, I'm, I'm open to that for sure. I want to see what structure is in place when we have a new town administrator and assistant town administrator and what funds are left over for our office for support because that's why I asked for that. And, mm -hmm. and I understand this year there's money and I'm happy to get somebody started and stuff and then just look at where that's got to be. But um, I don't want to move it out of there forever. So, but, I don't wanna, but I maybe don't... If, that, if that does alleviate some pressure out of the air that that's fine with me I don't you know I just want to look at that and make sure that we're we haven't had a chance to evaluate it so right. I, I, I feel uncomfortable at this point even talking about it until we I mean I would really want to table this for until we look at it and figure out wh how we're going to look at it um yeah, and maybe you're not interested. I mean, this is this sort of had been no, brought up, and I, I am wanted to bring it. I, I think we're all aware the that there are some issues and that we need to address them, but we're not sure them. how it gets going. Well, my thought was for sure to get whatever work that we're doing for DPW out of that office and into his, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure how long. Uh, I don't know what you can hire somebody for for hours 
that's going to be interesting to somebody. I mean, the, you know, <coughs> the thought was, you know, smaller hours, smaller than 19, but who's going to come for five hours or six hours? I don't, I don't really know how much work is really going to be needed. So how do we set up um, some time to talk with Kevin, Pat, or whoever's doing the work right now and talk to Kevin and see how much he really thinks he's going to need? Have you? certainly tell you what on that financial end that's the, that's the issue that I'm concerned about and that's the one that you know that's that's one that's <coughs> as far as I'm concerned one of the biggest problems that you've got now is you've got that office and I'm talking about the office mm -hmm. doing some I don't know if I'd want to call it accounting work but detailed <coughs> financial work Okay. So if you got somebody sitting there doing detailed financial work who's also answering the phone, who's also taking care of people walking in and out, yeah. it becomes very difficult. Yep. Uh, you want to so it would be nice if we could take that function and move it out of that office mm -hmm. and put it down in the highway department. What's right. it going to take? Yeah. And I'm throwing a number out based on the conversations that I've had with Brenda. Six to 12 hours a week, mm -hmm. but, but, something in that range. But the issue with that is that Pat, so, but that doesn't, that's only a piece of the data entry that she does for accounts receivable. So then she just would be doing accounts receivable, but less of it. So I feel like if it's to, if it's to support the accounts receivable, the data entry for accounts receivable, then we ought to get somebody to do that and do the library, do the highway, do all the bills that Pat does. Cause she does all the bills, not just highway. So, you know what I mean? So that's why I, th I think when we originally talked about public work support, we were hoping there'd be, you know, they're, like they're doing a new work order system. Like they have a lot of things that they're doing administratively and Kevin, you know, doesn't have a lot of capacity to, right. to manage those things. So that's, I think we were thinking yeah, so basically, along the lines well, of something like that. Well, my concern is you've got, you got Kevin doing most of this work other than, right. or right. He's, he's taking it up, me bringing it here, yeah. coming and picking it up. Right. It goes to Brenda. If there's, you know, things that have to be changed, Brenda has to go back and forth. It gets to be a nightmare. Yes. Not and efficient. I'd rather have just, you know, one, one person. person doing it someplace. Right. Right. So maybe it's something you should, we should talk to Brenda about getting some mm -hmm. support for the soft right data entry stuff. Mm -hmm. And then the Public Works Administration may be another thing you want to consider at some point, too. So. so can we get a meeting together with Kevin and Brenda and? Sure. Anybody else involved that wants to do that and um, sort out exactly what's needed and, and, and really you know keep an open mind as to what, how much we can unload from there and then what does that free up um, that position to do now um, in that office and maybe a discussion with the new town administrator too and see what. And you know, I don't know how much you're talking about senior center, uh, but there. No. That budget, there's not much to that budget. No, unfortunately. If that takes more than an hour a week, I'd be surprised. You mean to do, like, to do payroll, you mean, on it? Or, yeah. or pay stuff on it? Yeah, I don't know who's doing that now. I mean, it, I mean with Kevin, you've got, I don't know how many budgets. You, right. I don't know how much you're, we're ordering for materials. And keeping those, right. keeping all of that separate, or when a bill comes in, Someone has to know enough about the department that they can allocate that to to the right to account. the right account. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it almost needs to be kaizen to kind of figure so out. So it's not what on. you've got at uh, at the senior center. It's simpler. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And I'm not sure what other what other, what other department you had that. Uh, oh, the I mean, I think library is one of. You know, we have and I assume the library does their things. own. So. so no, no, we do. I think I'm pretty sure we do the libraries too. You know, maybe you I'm, need to put that back. At the, yeah, so that's that's library. exactly right. I think Skip's correct. Yeah. I mean, some it's of it just, could just need to go, you know, sort of back. I think maybe at some point it was coalesced, but now maybe it well, needs to. Well, let's have a meeting with go back. Pat, Brenda, okay. and just kind of figure out where all that's at. I think that would be mm -hmm. excellent. Good. Um, Fantastic. And then, um, so that's that item. This um, review grade and step. Wage increase or key personnel refer to personal personnel board for requests for action. I know one of the items I wanted to think about was um, 
our accountant's position because they, our accountant has taken on a whole lot of stuff in the last couple of years for uh, budget and all, and, and we wanted to look at either, you know, just making sure, you know, I, one of the or tasks. Not I'm, competitive. Yeah, and I'm, uh, one of the tasks I'm really hoping the personnel board would do now that they're constituted would be to start, you know, looking at key positions and making sure that they are at the correct step. They're relatively paid similar to other towns, you know, just kind of a, a little bit evaluating the tasks that are needed and going through that point system that we had done before. We had talked about this for the um, for the building inspector too when we had started the hiring that we talked about um, hiring the person and, and regrading that to a six. We wanted to kind of have personnel look at that and, you know, is well, that... that's already been voted. You, you've got a procedure that you follow that puts a numerical rating correct on each job description and, I don't and think based that on that the, numerical rating they get assigned to a particular grade, grade so step. unless you're going to just throw that out the window no, not no in but doing that. So the personnel committee already voted the building commissioner to grade six when did they do that do you remember uh the last before when yeah. so before it was based on yeah. based on what well so so basically what if the, we had a, a previous personnel board. When we were going to hire the current Correct. position in July, we were looking to increase, we were trying to be competitive with the salary. Correct. So we took the position description to the personnel board and the, the previous personnel board that, that has that as a six. Gra graded as six. You didn't, hi you didn't hire a grade six. Correct. You kept the job description the same. Because we were waiting to and have that person get started go through because there wasn't a consensus on the right. the position was going to be a department head with the kind of exactly. things we were looking for in the position we wanted so, to evaluate that in right. six months so the personnel so then the new personnel board is aware that a, that, it, that the position had been looked at at some point and they're willing you know to look at it again if you if you have consensus mm -hmm. on what you want the job description to be the job description needs to to have the things in it that would would reflect wait a second six. wait a second we hired our building commissioner at a rate mm -hmm. and if he went through the six months um you know probationary, probationary period, period yeah. and then he passed his tests we were supposed to put, put him up to a great um step six grade six and we didn't and now he's passed the second test, so we okay. are on the hook to go to a grade seven, which is thirty-six sixty-one an hour, which is still less than competitive with other building inspectors. If if we don't do this, he can be poached, mm -hmm. and we don't want to lose him. He's doing a satisfactory job. Okay, so I'd like to just correct some of that information. So. First of all, when you hired him in your job offer letter, which Trevor signed, you, he did have a six-month probationary period, and you said that he had to reach, you know, to have a successful probationary period. Right. There was never yes. any indication you were going to give any kind of increase at that time, we, but you, you do um, expect him to get certified as a building commissioner within the 18 months, right. and within six months, he had to take the first test. Correct. That's a requirement of Mass General Law, so he did meet that requirement, mm -hmm. uh, but he hasn't taken the second test. He's he not passed the second test. He passed the second test. Oh, he, he did, he did pass it, he, he took it and passed it. Okay, yeah. that must have just been this week then. This, I no. think he just last took week. it last week, okay. Yeah, so he just took it. In December. I no, I think he just took, right. yeah, he no. just, I think he said he was just taking a second test. Maybe it was last week. So yeah. I, I hadn't heard he passed it yet. Yeah. He, he thought he was going to fail. He passed the it, test, so mm -hmm. and we are so. obligated to So now he would forward. be classified as a building commissioner versus a local inspector right. under Mass General Law. But mm -hmm. I have a copy of the offer letter here, and that isn't what was said in the well, offer letter. Well, it was so. agreed that we would move him forward to 3661, which is step seven. I don't remember the dollar amount, but yeah. I do remember talking to him about yeah. that yeah. we wanted to move him to a grade six. We wanted to hire him and see how he did for six months. I think he's done an outstanding mm -hmm. job. So I think um, wouldn't, wouldn't the process be that we'd review that with the personnel board and then move that forward for a recommendation to us? Is that right, to move him up? I mean, I thought that's what we were. I'm not sure what. <laughs> What well, I mean, it, until 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 this week, really, it's the first that I had heard of of it. But that doesn't mean anything mm -hmm. either. Yeah. I think since I wasn't so on the personnel committee up. last year, right? 
Yeah, oh. so basically the grade has to do with the position, not mm -hmm. the person. So if right. you want to, you know, you you did have the personnel board look at it and they did regrade it to they a six. They graded it to a six, right, um, but we didn't hire him at a six. We didn't hire him at a six. And Correct. And council I told us last year when we were hiring that when you are hiring a person now with the Equal Pay Act, if you change the position, if you change the grade of the position and make it a different position, then technically you're supposed to go back out to allow, you know, no, equal. No, no, that was fixed. No, but, we, because we, we changed that before we hired him. It was a grade six. We changed it to, we just didn't hire him at a grade six. So, so the local inspector is a grade five, but the commissioner Correct. is a grade six? I believe so. I, well, I, I, all I know is that when we went to the personnel board, we had it regraded to a grade six. We didn't end up hiring him at that because right. he didn't have all his credentials and he had just started. So he was coming from a, he had been an inspector, but he was not a, a commissioner. Inspector, and right. once he becomes a commissioner and he went through a successful six month period, that we would move him into that grade six. But I think that would typically be a recommendation from the personnel board to us, unless I got that wrong. If, if, if I got it wrong, that's fine. But I just, I think that was my intention for him when he hired was that he had a successful six months, got everything under his feet, and went and showed initiative to get the tests and get become a commissioner. I, I that don't we would want move to lose him. him. So no, I don't think we, we need, have any. We need to agree on yet. how this is moving well, forward. Well, it, it, it's following the personnel, I don't know, policy, if nothing else. And that's the only thing I'm asking you to do is. Right. Okay, so we would forward it to you for Monday. Yeah. And then you would vote it and forward it back to us on Wednesday. I think review that and make and, a re and recommendation. And our review, back. I'm going to assume, is going to be based on okay. whatever the... The, uh, the grade is now. The grade is based on whatever, you okay. know, the criteria that we're using to... And I'll come put to the speak. scale or points. But you've or, already graded the. Well, I'll come and speak to that. Building then commissioner what, position. Yes, and maybe have this new board review that position, and yep. review the grading and say this is what, what our intention and, was and, when we hired him. I will him. tell you typically, if you look at the personnel policy, what typically happens when you increase somebody from a grade, whatever it is. Grade five to grade six, you take whatever salary they're getting now and you look at what, where that salary would be on the exist, on the, uh, at the grade six level and you move them up to the next, to the mm -hmm. next step. But we, we didn't do that because we were supposed to give them grades uh, for the first test, step six, and we, and he's passed well, the Why don't you test. follow the personnel policy? That's. Well, we are not well, on top of. I'll come I mean, I, I, I'll unless, come I'm, unless I'm making a mistake on that, and then you well, certainly... I'll come to the meeting and discuss kind of what our intentions were, at least what mine was mm -hmm. when we, we were at the, when we were hiring him and trying to get somebody in here as qualified and as skilled as he has been. And I'm very pleased with the work he's done and I, I um, where he's at. I have had so I no think, complaints, and I went to court with him, and I, he's, he's very, been good. He's so a good we'd, person. we'd like to hang on to him and kind of live I, up to our I, recommendations. So I'll recommend no that to the board. So I'll recommend that to the board. So um, and then hopefully you guys can, can you vote put it that and send on for back. next Wednesday's agenda then? Yes. For us to vote on that. That'd be great. And then. And then maybe, um, I don't know how else I could help with um, the accountant's position as well, if we could review that or if you could take some time and look at that. I don't know if it all has to happen tomorrow, you know, Monday's meeting or if it's the, your following meeting, but just I'd like to get that in the works because I've talked about that for a, more than all, a year. We're, again, it, no matter where we go, there is a shortage of accountants and we are I know. A, a constantly, we, people want she to loves coach. Us. Oh, Jess. I know. <laughs> Let's hope she wants to stay. I think she yeah. does, and I just want to be able to, um, to you know, have her have her be here um, and just get paid for the you know the work that she's been doing on on the budget stuff. So, do you guys have an updated um, job description for the town account? Do we you don't want have any to job have descriptions. That on we don't Wednesday? need any job descriptions. A job, do you want to look at a job? Do you guys want to update sure. the job? You know, because basically the, the grading system is based on the job description. Yeah, so we should look at that. Yeah, because we'll, I'm sure it hasn't been updated with all the new stuff I she's don't think been it working has. on. So. Okay. Um. 
And then we had Dick's stipend for the um, end of the year. And hopefully, for from what? what I understand, um, the, we don't have to do this sh shenanigans again for another year. What are we doing? We're um, authorizing another $8,000 for he has had no pay since um, October 17th. And we did last year, we gave him a stipend of $8,000 when we did no that. Pay. What? What do you mean he's had no pay? He's had no paycheck since October 17th. What are we signing in the warrant then? What Nothing. There hasn't been anything in the warrant since October 17th was his last paycheck. I swear, uh, I just don't, don't look at me because I haven't the slightest January. idea. We're talking don't about know. from October hmm? till this is December news today. 30th. But what? So. Why is he working with no money? Like, I'm, I'm confused. Because it was for his retirement, actually. Um, however. So he can't work a certain amount, right? He can't, he can't earn a certain amount that last year. But this year, I guess, they've changed the retirement laws, so it doesn't matter now. We won't have to do this again. So anybody last can year, work? Last, yeah, well, last you year. Just, you just moved his money into this year, too, so. What? So are you going to end I'm up confused. doing the same thing next October? Yeah, basically. No, no. He can only make so much in a calendar year. Now you're in the next calendar year. No, this year he does not have to. He is, the, that whole requirement has been changed. This is his last year that we have to do this, $8,000. Last year we voted $8,000 at the end of the year for the exact same thing. He and stopped. I was uncomfortable I, then. I, I, think I, you, just, I think you better verify that. Before yeah, I'm verify what that he hasn't been paid no, or verify no, no. that the, the laws have been changed so that somebody who was retired yes did no he got the calculations he he got a letter from the retirement board to show that the calculations he can make up to ninety thousand dollars or something this year but we're paying him for last year's work right no no it doesn't matter. It doesn't that, matter. That one, I, that one, I don't have a, you know, what you're paying, it's the ca it's the calendar year basis. Now you can you can argue on whether you you think that's reasonable. I'm <laughs> thoroughly confused here. So he he's, works a certain amount of hours. Yep. He's wor He's been five days a week. He's been here almost every day. Why is but why is he coming in every day if he can't? I, I'm confused. Because there's work to do. Trevor. Well, I, I think I think you may want to take if if what you're saying is is correct, then you may just want to increase the number of hours in from January. And we don't have spread. to do anything this year at all. This calendar year is completely not an issue. It was last if year. If it's not an issue, then you can increase the amount of money that Dick is making this calendar year. And I guess I would do that rather than trying to backtrack into last year calendar year. Except that he to... has collected no paycheck since October 17th. I'm just confused I, that, um, that's that he a, would that's come a in problem. and work. That's a problem under pay. state law, too. Well, because he is a, a, a very conscientious employee. I get that, but I mean, look, you don't work for nothing for since Dick, October. Dick has done that two years in a row. That doesn't seem right. It and just doesn't seem correct. right to him, and it doesn't seem right to anybody. Like, the whole reason, I don't know. I just, it seems, I can't get my well, head around it. I'm confused about the whole thing. Well, how, how you want to deal with it, I don't know. But we owe him from October 17th, if you want to pay Honestly, him. we don't. But, I mean, I, had we known each year that he was going to work for us until October and then not get paid and work for us all the time through there, and then we we're going to back pay him, that's, a, that's not something we were expecting in a year. And I just, it doesn't seem right to me, but I... I don't want to not pay somebody for the work they've done. I'm not go. I'm not saying that. It just seems not accurate to me for some reason. I don't know why we did that. Yeah, let's see if we can verify with Brenda what the actual expense was. Yep. And also, if we can, it's actually more. But if, the other if we thing want is, to pay more, let's just look at it. 
Because a lot of times a lump sum payment like that is really but, hit hard with taxes uh, that it may be better just to spread it out. But he signs a, a, a timesheet every week and turns it in. Not since October, from October to December. It's 30th. You're, what you signed is only January timesheets. Okay. Can we look at that and make sure? Yeah. I just, I, I, yeah, that's fine. Bizarre that he hasn't turned in a timesheet. I, I still would run it. I don't know who you run it past, to be honest with you. Uh, but <laughs> I, I, there, there, are, there are limits. Can to you what, put it on the agenda for the, the Wednesday, please? Again. I just want to make sure I'm doing and it correctly and by the yeah. letter of the law and yes. we're that's fair to this for what that's he's done. That's the point, is to get it through the, the legal and pass. I'm, thank God we it's don't have to do It's the same as last year. year. It's last year, same as last year. We I'm not but familiar last with year last year either. I didn't know that you either. did I mean, this last year. We shouldn't do that. Yeah. It's just fortunate we don't have to do it this year again, this calendar year again. We're fine, whatever hours he works or doesn't work. You can put in for actual hours. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, so are you going to come to the personnel committee and talk about that? Yes. Yes. I'm certainly going to talk about the <laughs> others. I, I'll get my head around this one for sure. Too. I want to be fair to Dick and make sure. That I think he's I'm going to take the next week off. Gets paid for. But. <laughs> And this I'm is, sorry, I take thought you knew about you. this. I did take not. Me with no, you. I just, um, I remember last year's and thought it was odd last year, and I just had no idea that this was going on again this year. Yeah. I'm sorry, I thought you knew about it. Um, You're not going to do anything else tonight. I'm going home, okay? I, yeah. I need to go home. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I need to say goodbye to my son. Okay. When's he leaving? Uh, he's That's catching so a plane pretty soon. Oh, tonight? What is this? Yeah. This is the thing we said back to ABCC. That um, says, yeah, basically shows so, motion to adjourn. So, you guys just have to make a motion. Second. <laughs> All those in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye.